Concerns abroad but affecting Kenyans. For thousands of women that board a flight to Saudi Arabia to secure jobs as domestic workers, it is a gamble on whether they will face abuse at the hands of their employers. The increase in reports of inhumane working conditions in the Middle East has been the thorn in the side of Kenya's labor force. Gina Kirori spoke to a 25-year-old who is currently stuck in Saudi Arabia and is desperate to come back home. When Patricia Wanjao was cleaning the home of her Saudi Arabia employer, a gun placed on the coffee table sent chills down her spine, only adding to the web of trauma that she has endured in the weeks that she has been working as a domestic worker in the Middle East Kingdom. I was just so terrified. I was just so terrified. I just held it with a rug, the rug I was cleaning with, and I felt it was lighter and I just left it. While Wanja expected to earn 30,000 shillings a month in Saudi Arabia, the agency that facilitated her employment, identified as Mahara Human Resources Company, ended up paying her 25,983 shillings. I look at myself and I see the things are going on, but when I remember that if I complain, I may be in prison, and I just hold back. I just hold back and, and work as if nothing is wrong. Mahara, please. Wanja says that she has fallen ill during the weeks that she has been at her employer's home, but no efforts have been made to take her to any medical facility, which goes against the terms of her contract. Another time I was cleaning the flasks and one of them broke and the lady just threw it at me like that. And, and she was asking her husband, what do we do with her? And... I got so scared. Her motivation for returning home is to see her two children once again, especially since they are aged one and seven respectively. When I was coming here, I had I had told my daughter that I'm coming here so that we can build a home for ourselves, so that I can have some savings and the desperation for lucrative job offers in Middle Eastern countries has been behind the decision by many women to travel to a foreign land, as they say job opportunities in Kenya are hard to come by. The surge in reports of women being exploited and abused by their employers in the Middle East led to the government requiring all agencies recruiting Kenyans seeking employment in Saudi Arabia to pay 1.5 million shillings as a security bond in 2019. The agreement also required any Kenyan domestic worker to be paid an average salary of 30,000 shillings. Wanja is now appealing to the government to help bring her and many other girls suffering from abuse back home. Gena Kirori, NTV.